So on that note, welcome back to another demon fill, demon slaying filled or demon law filled episode of Diablo 3. As always, this is Klaus Endome, and I hope you guys enjoy this episode. We are slowly tuning in on the demon wench, and uh, hopefully, I mean, we fought her maybe last time, last time, and I'm not sure if we're getting any closer to where she is, but. We should be getting close to another heart. Tower of the Cursed Level 1. Let's see where we're going. I do hope you're not in over your head. Hold your tongue, demon. Yeah, you tell her, Templar. We're not to be pushed around. We're human beings, you know, the ones you sacrifice and kill and basically kill for fun. <laughs> so yeah, we're one of them. <laughs> You know, we apparently one of your playthings is about like four, uh, as as high as four of us, and you call it a plaything. Uh, it's rather worrying what you'll do to us. I can just imagine, like, um, you know, how you you have a you have like a little pet or something like that, and you, I wouldn't call a pet a plaything, but I guess it's the same. This is where we truly belong. I, I love how the two statements back to back. One was like the the stench of um, battle is thick in the air, and then suddenly he goes, uh, "This war has gone on for long enough." And I'm like, "Do you have personal uh, personality polar disorder or whatever?" I mean, it just just sounds like you're not one person or you're not all there. That being said, he is supposed to be a man of religion, and he likes battle too. So, yeah, I don't know how to react to that one. Nope, don't come near me. Got you. And this is crazy. Oops, nearly left some goodies behind. We're getting close, we don't even see those big guys. Oh. I was just about to say, we don't even see one of those big guys anymore, and he's right. Oh dear lord! Do you see that? It's His arms nailed into his shoulder! Ouch, dude! That's... Just ouch! Oh, man. That's, that is gruesome! Talk about signing up to the wrong side. <laughs> I love that. After defeating some uh, some enemies, I feel better now. A very, very, very simple statement, but uh, it's very, very uh, it, it hits home. So it's rather worrying. Also, for some reason, I can hear a child crying. Oh, Is this in game? The things I'm going to do to you. She has no shame, does she? Good or bad things? I'm <laughs> I'm slightly intrigued. Good or bad things? Oh boy! Come on! Ugh. Aren't succubi normally? Uh, very, very, I don't know, sexually based demons. I might like where this is going. <laughs> Free some of these guys. The succubus were controlling these guys. That's probably not good. Wow. I guess they do have a big hold on men. But then again, that being said, if you if you come as someone's fantasy, I doubt most people would say no. <laughs> just I'm just putting it out there. 
I mean, can, just just sit down for a second and think of your fantasy, and then imagine what you would do if some demon came to you as that fantasy. I doubt most people would say no, to be perfectly honest. But then again, you know, some people have the will to say no, some people simply don't want to say no, and some people have very boring lives, like me. So I might just do it for kicks, you know, to see what would actually happen. And then suffer as a consequence by, you know, them taking your soul and killing you. Which is not at all a happy news, but it's news nonetheless. Which is rather worrying. My mind worries me. See, th see, this guy has—he has like a horn protruding out of his forehead, and then his ar his arm is nailed to his shoulder. I think I'm seeing a trend here. Just arms nailed to the shoulder. Hand, see hands nailed to the shoulder and this one's wearing like a crown or something like that this is gruesome oh we got another one yeah we got him <laughs> there were so many attacks going off at the same time Back. oh flames toasty templar I like my Templar medium rare, please. <laughs> That's so bad. I'm plotting on killing him already. I'm like killing my own health. That's not good. Ah, <sighs> good times, good times. Where are we going? There's no enemies here. I love a guy. This guy has a mask on. You can't really see out. Oh boy, these guys just. That's uh you're just having a bad day though. Oh yes. I've been looking forward to this. You want to make me bleed? And I thought we were friends. Sorry, I don't make friends with people who uh who tend to have a lust for the night. Sorry. Come on. Maiden of Lost. Please don't. I quite like my corpse. I have grown rather fond of it. <laughs> Where is she? Oh, here we shoot. Got you, got you, come on. No more of those bug things. No more. Down you go. Oh, she just exploded into acid. So as Modan is close to all of his lieutenants, Sidea is his special fate. The maiden of lust is both beautiful and grotesque in appearance, with the torso of a woman and the legs of a spider. Her voice is said to be as smooth as honey, but she only speaks words of death. See? You heard it. From Deckard Cain, women are evil. <laughs> women are evil. No matter what you say. <laughs> the torso of a woman and the body of a spider, was it? <laughs> Women are evil. Deckard Kane told me so. <laughs> and on that note, sorry for the short episode, guys. I was, thank you for joining me. This has been uh, Klaus and Nomir playing Diablo 3. And I hope you've had your your demon fill. So next time, we charge Asmodan. I'll see you guys there. Bye for now.